Good morning. Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So today I was the most tired. That's why I didn't film myself as soon as I woke up. The most tired I've been of all the days. Because I went to bed so late last night. And then it happened again. I set my alarm for 7 o'clock. I woke up at six o'clock to go to the bathroom. By the time I fell asleep again into a deep sleep, my alarm went off and woke me up. Malcolm is back there. He's wearing his pug bra. Pug power? Pug power? He doesn't do it right anymore. He's not into it. Anyway. I got my hat on crooked. I didn't even put on makeup today, to tell you the truth. It's weird, I have a hat on and I have a headband on. It should be one or the other. I think I'm gonna choose the hat for now. Even though it's not cold, it's... Why is there a school? Oh, there's a school bus beeping. You must be picking up a chow next to where I'm parked. Look, lovely background. Hey, what time is it? It's 7.41 and 48 degrees. Uh, so, yeah, I just couldn't put on makeup today. I just washed my face and brushed my teeth and that's it. Uh, I want to thank the person that said that I should try using makeup remover wipes on my jacket collar to get rid of that foundation. Because I always get foundation on my collar. Even when I wash my jacket, it'll come back. I was going to try it today, but just too, uh, too tired. I'm wearing my new mask, my Christmas mask. I wasn't wearing it, but I'll wear it for you guys. So this is by the Masket Company. You get these for $3.99 in CVS. They are not adjustable loops, but they are cute and comfortable. And they are lightweight fabric, and they are breathable. And this has uh, reindeer, hearts, snow, X's. So now, and another reason I didn't put on makeup is I wanted to give my house, myself extra time. I can't even speak this morning. I wanted to give myself extra time because I want to go to Dunkin' Donuts because I'm sick of oatmeal. I want to get a multi-grain bagel. I have a, a craving for a multi-grain bagel and a coffee with blueberry and almond milk or oat milk make sure i have enough money because the thing yeah i got money because the thing with uh mcdonald's versus dunkin donuts is is a big price difference a cup of coffee and oatmeal a large coffee iced coffee and an oatmeal at mcdonald's you're looking at about six bucks maybe 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 six bucks. <coughs> a bagel. <coughs> excuse me. A bagel with cream cheese and a large coffee at Dunkin' Donuts is always over ten dollars for some reason. Let me see. Okay, so I got enough money for breakfast. All right, so that's good. Okay, so we're gonna get mo moving. Oh, I was gonna say my camera holder worked. That was short-lived. Okay, so There I got my bagel and my coffee. It was eight dollars and fourteen cents It's chilly in this car So um yeah, I passed by the, you know, the little ordering board where they have a, the menu board. And I see that they got rid of the picture for the ghost pepper donut. And they've replaced it with a snowflake, snowflake donut. It appears to be a donut that looks purple. I don't know. And it has little, you know, a purple frosting on it dark purple frosting and then it has little snow white snowflake I guess candies or sprinkles so 
and they changed up the sign. I don't know if they got rid of the ghost pepper donut completely. It said for a limited time. I did kind of want to try it again. You know, even though it did burn my mouth off. Multigrain bagel. I'm going to have this and get going. Hey guys, so it's after work. It's Friday. Right? I should be happy. The weekend, right? Uh, it's raining. It's drizzling. It's not raining hard, but it's drizzling. So that's going to interfere with my walk. Or it's going to actually make my walk less comfortable. Even though my walks hurt anyway. So I'm warming up my car. I'm getting weird comments again on my videos. So somebody said, because I, I mentioned that I, I should warm up my car for about 15 minutes. Now I'm not talking about when it's like moderately cold. I'm talking about like when we're in the deep freeze. But we're we're getting there. What how many temperatures? It's 47 degrees. So not quite that cold yet. But I was like, you know, you really you should warm up your car. I warm up my car for 15 minutes. So this person said to me, Well, if it's 20 if it's only if it's 20 degrees below zero, do you need to warm up your car for 15 minutes? And that's not true. So I don't have I don't have the good fortune of having a brand new car my car is several years old and it has miles on it my car needs to warm up if it doesn't warm up you can feel when you're driving that it's stiff and that you know it could it, it's bad for your car my mechanic has told me it's bad for my car and it just it's in general not my dad when he was alive used to tell me it's bad for your car I used to have significant others that were into cars that told me you should warm up your car you know it's just anyway it doesn't make a difference I warm up my car because I feel like it makes a difference and my car feels stiff and uh, like cramped up if it's not warmed up in the in the severe cold so there's that. Then somebody else left a comment on one of my Bath and Body Works videos that said, and I deleted it. It said, uh, you're always complaining about Bath and Body Works. It's pathetic. It's effing pathetic. No. First of all, I'm not always complaining about Bath and Body Works. Second of all, as a consumer, I have the right to critique. That's the word. To critique to review, to discuss the pros and cons of different products of a place where I shop. So if it's not all sunshine and roses, that does not mean that I'm pathetic. Maybe it's pathetic that they kiss Bath and Body Works butt and they don't think there's anything ever wrong with Bath and Body Works. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. If you disagree, if it triggers you, go watch something else. You know, God knows I'm not the only YouTuber on here. Go watch someone else. Yeah. Anyway, everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic. So, I drank several cups of coffee today. To try and stay awake because I was tired tired I got home late last night like I told you I had get, got up early today I worked all day I wish I could go home and sleep but I can't I have to go for my walk I have to pick up Malcolm I have to pick up dinner I have to do stuff when I get home I have some personal projects that I'm working on that have to get done so I have to do that then I'll go to sleep. Now, tomorrow morning, you think, oh, Saturday, you get to sleep late. No. So, fortunately for me, I get to see the boyfriend this weekend. Right? Which is always nice. But, 
Saturday morning, I have to take my mom to Walgreens. She wants to go to Walgreens to get her Glucerna, which the doctor told her to drink Glucerna every day so that she could start to put on weight because she lost a lot of weight. She doesn't eat enough. So he told her drink a Glucerna shake. That's a shake for people with diabetes. A Glucerna shake every day. So she has to go to Walgreens to get her Glucerna shakes. Then she has to go to the supermarket because she's got to buy fruits fruit or fruits plural um and some other stuff so i have to take her to run her errands in the morning then i'm gonna go pick up the boyfriend then i have to walk and sunday i have at least um two virtual events that um i need to do i mean need to attend or whatever anyway so, I, I am going to try to get some rest this weekend. I'm going to try to get some sleep. But I need to do my walks. I need to get my exercise in. Okay, I'm going to head home, head towards Malcolm. It's still raining. And my umbrella is still broken from the last day it was windy. Okay, I'm finally back uh, home. No, I'm not at my home. I am at my mom's home. I was in traffic for over an hour. And because I drank so much coffee, I have to go to the bathroom. So I was going to do my walk first and then get Malcolm. But now it looks like I'm going to have to get Malcolm first and then do my walk. Which means I'm going to be on duty patrol. Because, you know, he just... What is it about walking that makes dogs naturally want to poop I don't know so there's that and um we you know it's it's coincidental that we were just I was just talking about the white stripes and uh little acorns and that little speech that little inspirational speech at the beginning of little acorns because white stripes dropped a greatest hits album today which is strange because for a number, well, I understand because it's Christmas time. That's why they they, they dropped the, the greatest hits. Um, I was listening to it on Apple Music, but I have all their CDs and I even have the vinyl, but I have all their stuff anyway. And they didn't put out that many albums. So I can't understand why they would put this out. I got to see what label it's under. I don't think it's under Jack White. Jack White's label, Third Man Records, because he does his own stuff. But, like, White Stripes didn't have a lot of albums. The albums that they did put out were great. They didn't really need a greatest hits, and they've been, they have been broken up for a while, so why they would release this now, I don't know. And Jack White went on to a hugely successful, successful solo career and is you know believed to be a guitar and musical genius which he is so he certainly doesn't need the money he has his own record label third man records in uh i forget where he lives now he's he was he was based in detroit but what whatever i was and still am a huge white stripes fan i haven't listened to white stripes music in a while because when i was into them when they were together i was really into them and that's all i listened to i you know i get into these phases where um i really get into a band and i just absorb all their music and check out all their stuff and follow them and and i was so into the white stripes if there was three bands that I was into Depeche Mode White Stripes Beastie Boys so yeah but then I can then I OD on their music and then I don't listen to them for a while so now I'm listening to White Stripes again they're not for everybody uh, they have a unique sound uh, if you've not heard of them if you have heard of any of any of their music the two songs that you probably have heard of are Fell in Love with a Girl or Seven Nation Army. That's the ones that they're most known for. And I will tell you, I could I could do a whole video just on my White Stripes fandom. You know, just my love of the White Stripes. And I did do a video. I don't know if it's still up. I did three videos. I did a Depeche Mode collection of all my memorabilia. I did one on White Stripes. I did one on Beastie Boys. I think I did a complete, because um, I collect vintage vinyl, um, music memorabilia. I don't collect it as much anymore, but I do have a nice collection. 
I have lost stuff over the years, but I do have a nice collection. And I'll tell you a, a little tidbit about White Stripes. So I did go to see them live. I wanted to see them live so bad. And they weren't playing big venues like Madison Square Garden or Nassau Coliseum or Jones Beach where you could sit down. They were playing the closest venue to where in New York, uh, because I'm in Brooklyn so they were the closest venue to me that they played at and there was no Barclay Center back then um was Roseland Ballroom which I don't even know if it's still open and it was standing room only so no seats and you know I had I had never been to a standing room only concert I'd seen you know video on TV of like mosh pits and stuff, although White Stripes is not that kind of music but anytime you have a standing room only situation, it's a first come first serve. So people always try to push their way to the, to the front. And you always see, you know, horror stories about concerts where people get trampled or, you know, shoved or pushed or something happens when it's a non seated scenario. So I was afraid to go alone. I got two tickets and I didn't know who I was gonna take with me. So. Who would I take but the bad enabler? My bestest friend. Who totally is not into the white stripes. The complete 180 degree opposite of what he listens to. Right? He did not want to go. But, and he had an excuse. So the date of the concert, I said, will you please come with me to see the white stripes? Because I'm afraid to go by myself. I'm afraid it's a standing room only thing. And I want somebody to come with me. And I don't know, I, I guess I wasn't dating anyone at the time. I don't know. It was such a, it was a while ago. So he said, oh, I, I would, but I have such and such to do on that day. So he was able to get out of it. And then Jack White, who was in a movie called Cold Mountain with Renee Zellweger, Miss Big Fish Lemon Lips. I can't stand her. He was dating Renee Zellweger. And they got into a car accident together and he hurt his wrist and if you watch the video for the hardest button to button uh, you can see that he's his wrist is in a brace so because he hurt his wrist and he couldn't play the guitar they postponed all their shows so they postponed the concert to a date when lucky for bad enabler he was able to go and he did come with me and he did protect me and there was there was we stayed I think in the middle area we did not try to get to the front there was a shoving scenario in the front and Jack White called out some people for pushing but it wasn't like a big deal and I remember I bought this amazing art print of Jack White it was this red and white picture drawing of him on stock paper it was so beautiful and I and it, when we were leaving to get on the train to go home it started raining so I tucked the the rolled up poster because they didn't have any bags they didn't have any I usually buy a program when I'm at a concert but anyway so I rolled up the poster and uh, I put it in my jacket I was had it you know inside my jacket we got on the train I didn't want to wrinkle it I wanted it to be perfect I bought this gorgeous gorgeous frame for it from Century 21 I think it was from this amazing frame I framed it there was enough space at the bottom where I was able to frame the two concert ticket stubs as well like the it or was it the tickets from the original show I don't know if it was the tickets to that show no it had to be the tickets to that show they didn't reissue tickets right and it, I loved it it was so beautiful and it got thrown out it, it's a long story when I had stuff in storage in my grandfather's house he had long passed away and I had stuff in his house in his basement um, that I kept in for storage and I would swap out my photos and stuff. So all my extra stuff I kept at my grandfather's house. When my mother sold the house, I told the new owners that I had some stuff there that I had to take out. And they said, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, we're not going to. They wanted to do demolition on the house um, 
and, and fix some stuff. So they said, no, don't worry. You can get it. It's fine. We're not going to do it. They threw out all my stuff. They threw out all my stuff. They threw out all my stuff and they threw out that stuff. And I, it kills me that I, I, and I can picture that poster in my mind. It was so, and, and it kills me. All the stuff that I lost, but we can't be about material possessions, right? I'm going to go on my walk because I've been rambling and rambling. Malcolm, what'd you do with grandma? Did you have fun with grandma? Did you help grandma? Did grandma feed you breakfast? Okay, I picked up Malcolm, chatted with my mom for a little bit. I was showing her this video. I'm going to post a link in the description box. Uh, I found it online on YouTube. Somebody posted it on Facebook, I think, and then I found it on YouTube. So apparently this woman was feeding squirrels or a squirrel that she called like Little Red or something. Anyway, she gave the squirrel fermented pears. She gave them these pears. She didn't know that they had been out for a while and they fermented and they turned into alcohol. And so the squirrel was eating the pear, I guess. And he, you see him, he's, eating, he's leaning, 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 leaning. Oh, I'm going to fall. And then he gets back up and, he's, and he, so he's drunk. So it's a drunk squirrel. So I'm going to post a link to the video because we could always use, a, we could all use a good laugh on a Friday. And what is more humorous than an intoxicated rodent, right? All right, so I placed an order at the health food place. I'm going to get protein pancakes again, but instead of strawberries, I'm going to get peaches which I know are bad for me because they're not actually real peaches. They're the canned peaches, which is unusual because this place usually has all only fresh stuff, but I wanted peaches. And like I said, you could get three different fruits or you could get three servings of the same fruit or however you want it. So, but I just felt like peaches today. You ever, hear that song peaches by the presidents of the united states that was a band they had a song called lump anyway they did a song called peaches it had the most ridiculous lyrics they were like uh peaches come in a can they were put there by a man who works in a factory downtown something like that so how did this song go something like that peaches come in a can they were put there by a man <laughs> I don't know. I'll I'll link the song. I gotta link a couple of things. I'm gonna link a video for Hotel Yorba, which is my favorite video by the White Stripes. My one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite song by the White Stripes. They're so hard to choose, but if I had to absolutely pick one song and video combo that I love, that's my favorite of the White Stripes. It has to be Hotel Yorba. It's one of their earlier songs, and it's such a beautiful, simple music video. I'm going to link the video of the drunk squirrel and I will link the video for peaches by the presidents of the United States. And now I'm going to go and get my peaches. So I forgot to tell you guys while I was running my mouth about drunk squirrels and uh, peaches that I did go for my walk. So uh, I was going to go to the bathroom first, but then the, the, the need passed. So for, you know, the urgency passed. So I went for my walk first and then I, and I was listening to White Stripes and thinking and stuff. So I really wasn't paying attention to the pain or maybe I wasn't having pain. I don't know, maybe, mm. but I did go for my walk. I went for my walk uh, because it, it, it stopped raining. It's like a little bit damp out and it's like a little light drizzle, but I was able to do my walk. So I did my walk. Now I picked up my pancakes and they have protein muffins um, that are supposed to be no sugar added protein muffins. They have all different kinds. They used to have corn muffins, which I like, but they stopped making them because the guy said they didn't sell well, but I like them. But anyway, they had like banana muffins, bran apple, 
uh, cranberry and orange, which looked amazing. And then they had this one that had almonds and poppy seeds on top of it, but the little tag with the name of what kind of muffin it was had fallen off, I guess. So I said to the, the woman that works there, what kind of muffin is this? And she's like, it's almonds. I was like, well, I can see that. I can see there are almonds on it. I mean, what is in the muffin? She's like, I don't know. It's almonds and poppy seeds. <laughs> so she, she didn't know either. So it's like mystery muffin. So I, I did get a muffin. Uh, I'll show it to you after. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'll have it later tonight. Maybe I'll have it tomorrow. I don't know. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to go home. I'm going to have my pancakes. And I'm going to try to get my head on straight because I have work I need to do that requires me to concentrate and pay attention to what I'm doing. I have some creative thinking to do. And I just, I'm so zonked out. I just don't have, you know, like when you're, when you just, your brain is fried and it's just like, you can't think. It's like dull and. I don't know it's just, it's just like uh, I, I can't I can't think I can't think of thoughts I can think of things to tell you but like if I actually have to sit and work I don't know maybe the pancakes and peaches will get the creative juices flowing who knows we'll see okay so these are the pancakes with peaches they didn't burn them well, yes, they weren't burnt yesterday, but they were dark. They're lighter today. Oh, this one's a little... No, they're a little darker. That's fine. And there's the peaches. This one. That's good. And then, this is the muffin. This is mystery muffin. I said, what kind is it? He said, almond. Almond and poppy seed. I'm thinking it might be lemon poppy seed. I have no idea. But when I taste it, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to eat it immediately after dinner because this, this is going to keep me pretty full. But when I figure out what this thing is, I will let you know. And then to drink, I have nothing in my fridge except for water. And this one lone can of Diet Pepsi that was left over from when I had a shrimp and broccoli lunch special last week, when I was eating the lunch special size still, instead of the big size, which I'm eating now, to keep myself full so I don't snack. I had apples today. What did I have today? Today I had bagel, multigrain bagel this morning, because I had oatmeal all week. So multigrain bagel this morning with a little bit of cream cheese and an iced coffee. Then I had two apples. Then I had uh, more coffee throughout the day. And then for lunch, I had the shrimp and broccoli with brown rice. And now I'm having this. Sugar-free syrup, peaches, protein pancakes, Diet Pepsi, and maybe way, way later or tomorrow, mystery muffin. Malcolm is sleeping because pug life is hard. I finished my work for now. I'm going to sit and relax. I'm watching the news. So I'm going to close out this vlog so I can finally rest. So thank you for joining me. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.